In this video, we're going to be discussing the wide variety of CAT 3400 series inline six diesel engines, also a destruction of the week. Hey guys, this is Josh with the Depth Day channel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about CAT's most famous engine series, the 3400 series of engines. Now, I've made a video discussing the 3406E and the C15, and I made another video discussing the C15 and comparing it to a C18, but I've never really compared all the different varieties of the 3400 series engine. Now, there's a lot of different versions of the 3400 series engine. Now, we are going to be eliminating the pre-3406E engines, so let's get rid of the 3406A, B, and C, and the 3408. And we're going to be getting rid of the 12-cylinder engines in this discussion. So that eliminates 3412, C27, and C32. If you do want a video on the 12-cylinders or the A, B, and Cs more specifically, leave some comments in the comment section. And if I get enough comments on it, I will make a video on it in the future. So I eliminate a lot of models there, but that still leaves us with a big chunk of engines to talk about. And those engines are the 3406E, the C16, the C-15, the C-15, the 3456, and the C-18. And they're all very similar, but also different. And I get a lot of questions on these, like, well, what parts are interchangeable? And of course, we're not going to be discussing everything here. I, I, It would take 10,000 years to dissect every part and say, well, this bolt's, you know, a quarter inch longer. Not only that, I'm going to tell you right now, probably about 99% of what I'm going to tell you is accurate. But probably 1% is not going to be accurate. I lied. I tried to pull everything I could out of CAT, and even CAT information can be incorrect at times. And I've worked on every model I've talked, I'm going to talk about here, but that doesn't make me an expert on them. So if I do say one thing or two things incorrect, just chalk that up to the 1% that's incorrect. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start our discussion by what is similar between these engines. Well, they're all inline six CAT diesel engines. They're all in the 3400 series family of engines. They all run a single cylinder head. They all have a single camshaft, which is an in-head camshaft. It is kind of over the head, but it's in the head. So we don't say it's an overhead cam. We say it's an in-head cam engine. It uses a single overhead cam, which it's Cat's only truck engine to use an overhead cam. Wrong. They run two intake, two exhaust valves. The injectors are electronically controlled and cam actuated. Okay, so the base cylinder block on the, these engines are all the same, and that's because they're linered engines, so even though the displacement is different, the displacement on these varies from 14.6 liters all the way up to 18 liters, but the cylinder block's the same, and that varies by stroke and liner, and the cylinder head, while there are different part numbers varying by application, the cylinder head is basically the same for all of these. They will bolt up to any of the cylinder blocks, so they're, they're interchangeable in that way. Although some of the cylinder heads are going to have pipe thread fittings for the coolant passages, and some are going to have O-ring boss fittings. And then when you get into some of the different applications, like a marine cylinder head is going to be possibly different than a truck or a piece of equipment due to the different cooling systems and turbocharger mounts that are involved. But let's get into what the differences are. So let's start off this comparison here with the 3406E and the C-15. And those two are easy to correlate because they're basically the same engine. So the 3406E was before the C-15, but let's take notice of the bore and the stroke. Both of them have a 5.4 inch bore and a 6.5 inch stroke. They're both 14.6 liter diesel engines and they both could be made to go up to 550 horsepower. And Depending on which serial number you had, they could be all the way down into the 300s on horsepower, but mostly we're going to be talking about maximum horsepowers here. So they could both go up to 550 horsepower. Now, if the bore is the same, that basically means the liner is going to be the same. And if the stroke's the same, that basically means the crankshaft throws are going to be the same. Now, during the 346E production time, there was what they called a bigger displacement version of it. So it was a 1mm serial number. This one had a 5.5 inch bore and a 6.75 inch stroke, which made it a 15.8 liter engine. And 15.8 liters is awfully close to 16 liters. 
Now notice that this one was only available in 575 or 600 horsepower. There was no low horsepower version of this and there was not a very high horsepower version. Basically, it was a truck engine only. Now when they dropped the 3406E designation and picked up the C-15, they turned the bigger displacement engine into the C-16. Now notice the bore and the stroke are identical as well as the displacement and the horsepower settings. This was the C-16 and it was the highest horsepower you could get in a truck engine from a production truck engine that Caterpillar made, at least in North America. Now, during this time, and I believe Cat still makes, a 3456, and this was mostly a generator or equipment engine. I couldn't find any information, but they probably also use it in marine applications. And notice, 5.5 inch bore and a 6.7 inch stroke. 15.8 liter engine. This is a C16. I've heard from people, oh, 3456 is a C18 engine. That's incorrect. 3456 is actually a C16 engine. And I don't know why they turned to the 3456 instead of just saying it was a C16, but that's Cat's terminology for what a 3456 is. Now, if the bore stays the same, you can keep the liner, and if the stroke stays the same it means the crankshaft basically hasn't changed well, what if you took a c16 crankshaft and put it in the normal 3406e cylinder bore well you'd basically get what they call just c15 no dash this would be the acert compound turbo c15s notice it has a 5.4 inch bore and a 6.8 inch stroke now the the stroke is only 0.5 millimeters more than the C16 was. I looked up the part numbers and they do not show the same remand part numbers for let's say an MXS which would be a C15 serial number and a 7CZ which would be a C16. Now all the main bearings on all these engines are the same. They are all a 317-8766. That's on C18s which we haven't even discussed yet. That's on 3456s and 5EK. Basically they all use the same main bearings so any of these crankshafts will physically fit in the same spot but there are differences between them for the timing sensors and of course the strokes now the c15 could be had anywhere from 435 all the way up to 625 horsepower and these also all were compound turbos there was no single turbo version of this now leading to that we get to the biggest of them all for the inline six 3400 series engine the c18 now c18s were never in a production truck outside of like military applications or fire trucks but they are in almost all other applications generators equipment marine applications basically anything else they're the physical same size dimensions wise as a c15 but they just have more displacement as you can see they have a 5.7 inch bore and a 7.2 inch stroke and they are 18 liters, hence the name C18. So these also can get up to 1,000 horsepower depending on application. Typically, Marines have the highest application when it comes to horsepower, and that's because they have basically unlimited cooling potential for the intake and the cooling system due to them being in the water. If you guys made it this far into the video, it's time for a little... So speaking of C-15s, I was getting ready to put these jakes back on, and after cleaning them, I noticed there was something different about this third jake housings here. Now this is actually a pack brake housing, not a Jacobs. And you might notice a little crack. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty bad. After further inspection, our parts guy was looking at the, uh, trying to get a replacement for this, and while he was just picking it up, it actually just cracked the rest of the way in half here. Uh, Pretty bad. I've never seen one actually break like this outside of the C-15s where the Jake brakes or the uh, compression brake bolts would actually break. These bolts were fine. This actually just cracked and unfortunately very difficult to get. Customer had to get a used one, but it did deliver it on time. Back to the video. So now you know basically the basics of all these 3400 series inline six engines, but that doesn't 
necessarily because the bore is the same or the stroke's the same mean the part all the parts are interchangeable. You can have different cylinder packs based on the horsepower ranges in one engine serial number. A 5EK, which is a 3406E, can have different injectors, it can have a different turbo, camshaft, cylinder packs based on where horsepower range is. Same thing with a 6NZ, which is a C-15 and a 3406E. It might have different injectors even though it's the same horsepower. And they'll physically fit in both locations. Now, would both work? They may work, but when you start changing horsepowers, CAT almost never keeps anything constant. They're always going to be changing your camshaft, your turbocharger. They can be changing the cylinder packs and the injectors. And then, of course, the main thing that determines your horsepower with CAT is, of course, the flash file. And flash files are all over the place. It can be very small differences, and it'll change a flash file. And they're almost never the same across any serial number ranges so while these engines are all basically the same the blocks the same the main bearings are the same the cylinder heads are the same almost all the other parts are not interchangeable when it comes to proper fit and function they can be bolted in place there's people that put c18 marine cams and c15s all the time i'm not recommending it but they will physically fit the bearings are the same size the gear train is the same so Basically, I just wanted to lay out what the differences are between the different models. I wanted to explain what a 3456 is and what a C18 is. And people seem to like this information, so I thought you'd find it interesting. Thanks for watching.